Hi friends, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a bunch of plant chores. Um, as you can tell, I am in the new house. Um, things are going really well being settled in here. I've gotten a little bit behind on some of my plant care and I wanted to get caught up with that. So I thought that I would bring you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and take a look at my list of things I need to get done. Okay, so this is the list of everything I need to do. Um, Really, it's mostly just potting up a bunch of plants, um, trimming some of my plants. Some of them need to be washed off, um, a little bit of repotting. But what I want to do first is put my orchid into a kokedama. Um, so it is this orchid right here that was growing and doing really fine. And then a few days ago, Wally knocked it over and all the roots came off with it. So even though it looked fine, it clearly is not. So I want to put it into a kokedama so that hopefully some of the roots will grow back. Okay, so I have some pre-soaked sphagnum moss in here that I'm just going to lay out. I'm not going to go through all of the steps um, that I'm doing with this since I did just make a video about it. But I am just going to show you guys really quick how I do it. Okay guys, so this one is by far not the best one I've ever done. Um, it's kind of loose and I think the issue is that I didn't use enough sphagnum moss. So what I'm probably going to have to do is layer on some more sphagnum moss and then just retie it around just to make the ball a little wider. Um, because I think that this is just going to fall out pretty easily. So I'm just going to set it to the side from now and I'll deal with this later. Okay, so that is done. The next thing on the list is to make a plant hanger, like a macrame hanger, which I've actually already done that. Um, it didn't go that great, so I didn't really care to um, record it, but I will be ordering some probably soon. The next thing I want to do is I want to tape my Raffidophora tetrasperma vine to the wall because I've seen people do this and it kind of helps the plant grow aerial roots that can help it attach to the wall. So I just want to um, kind of give it some help doing that. But I think I'm going to wait to do that after I'm done doing all my repotting. So we'll come back to that one. Um, the next thing is to chop and prop my philodendron brazil um and then my small pathos um, my micans i want to um just propagate from a little bit and i want to propagate a little for my monstera so let's go ahead and do those so as you can see my philodendron brazil is not looking very good um it hasn't been looking good for a while and it's just kind of progressively gotten worse so I think it's just time that I take it out of its pot and chop it up and try to propagate it.
Okay, so it's kind of hard to see from where it's at. I'm trying not to show too much of the room because I want to give you guys a tour um, in another video. But my monster is looking a bit droopy and I'm just not enjoying how it's looking right now. So I think I want to just go and trim off some of the um, older looking leaves. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want to go ahead and pot up the monster cuttings that I have from a different plant. Um, and I want to combine that plant in with the bigger plant that you guys just saw. reason I'm not burying these in the soil more now is because I already wanted to top up the soil because it's so low um, below the edge of the pot and I think that's causing the plant to dry out a bit quicker than I'd like it to so I want to go ahead and just top up the soil. Okay, the next thing we're doing is we're going to be repotting this, um, what is it called, umbrella plant. And I got this at Lowe's the other day. Um, it's, I can tell that it's very root bound. And yeah, it's very root bound, as you can see. And I kind of let it dry out a little too much. So I'm hoping that if I can repot it and get it some more soil, that it'll maybe be a little happier. Okay, the next thing I want to do is separate all of these little aloes and honestly I think I'm just going to pot them back up with that big aloe that I have and just to save space let them all grow in the same pot until these ones get too big. Then I'll probably separate them and maybe give them away or something but for now I just want to add them to the other plant that I have.
So this is taken care of. Um, I think it looks really cute with all the little baby aloes in here. Some of them might not make it because they were so young um, and didn't have very much root development, but I think it still looks really cute. So I'm just going to put this back in its spot and give it some water. Okay, so I wanted to add soil to my aloe plant, which I did. Um, I added some to my Monstera Deliciosa, and so I need to add it to one of my cactuses, my Philodendron Golden Goddess, and one of my Hoyas. So I just want to top off some of my plants because over time, sometimes the soil can kind of break down, and then the pot is a little more empty, and I just want to make sure that there's plenty of soil Okay, so I have this pothos that's just been living in this mug in a pot that I had to like trim the side off of it to make it fit in here. But I think, there we go. Yeah, see the pot's in there. Um, but this plant was already root bound when I got it and I put it in there. So I think it's been kind of struggling a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and root divide it so that I can put half of this back into this pot so that I can keep growing in that pot. And then I'm gonna put the other half into my big philodendron. So these last two things I'm going to save for later because I honestly just don't really feel like doing them right now. So I'll probably do them later tonight off camera or maybe tomorrow. But I do have a cutting that I wanted to pot up. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I have this really cute little Hoya cutting that's been rooting in water for a while. And I think it is ready to be pot up. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed doing some plant chores with me. Um, I will be checking in soon with an updated houseplant tour, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!